I'd like to clarify, I think I just kind of skimmed over this earlier, and uh, we can do things a little more effectively here. Once again, let's have a quick look at our code. We've got our window here, we got a vertical box. Inside that vertical box, we have a horizontal box with our buttons, and then also inside the vertical box, we have a label and a entry box. As we type, we can see the label and the title are effectively changed by the uh, entry box to equal the same. We have a few other things going on here, but look at the previous tutorials to see what's going on. Um, but let's look at the code here real quick. Um, you can see in our functions here, there's points where, and I don't know, I just because I'm doing tutorials, I'm not thinking straight all the time. Uh, as the text, text box changes or the entry box, uh, we change, we run this function, and for some reason I was typing out the full name of the text box, which is self dot text box, and then whatever uh, I want to get from it. In this case, we're getting the text. Um, as you can see, this function is being passed two variables, self and widget, and uh, self would be the class where in the widget. Uh, is the text box in this case. The widget is whatever um, object is running this function. Uh, so I really don't have to type out uh, self text box. I can just type out widget. Same on this line. Widget. Uh, now you, you don't have to call it widget. You can label it whatever, pretty much whatever you want here within reason. Uh, but widget is what we're calling it because it is a widget and uh, what's good about this is that if we add more than one text box or other items like a text box we don't have to create a new function for each one of them so if we have two text boxes and we want them both to do the same thing we can call this function for both of them uh, so that's just clarifying a little bit more on on what these variables are doing in this, they're being passed to this function. Uh, once again, sometimes when I'm doing tutorials, I'm just trying to get things done and I don't necessarily think of everything straight. So I just want to clarify on that. You can do it the other way. As you saw, it worked. Let's save this and run it. And you'll see that it's still working the way it should. But as I said, uh, this way is better if you decide later on to add another text box or item that will edit these two. Uh, doing it this way allows you to not have to create a whole new function for each of those text boxes. So thank you for watching. I know this was a short tutorial. We've got more to come. Hope you're enjoying them and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.